Thanks for watching Digging Deep, where we're digging into a little bit of everything. Jack, Jack of, of all, all trades, trades, master of none. Yeah, dude. So we are back at the Frederick watershed and we are running the new Maxxis, well new to me, Maxxis Minions DHR2 front and back. So. so we are back running up three saws. Um, my plan is to come down Nose Trail and uh, three saws to warm up and then we'll go from there but uh, I just want to get these meats out on the trail so we're on the uphill like I say every bit not going to bore everybody with the uphill but the riding conditions are it's about 50 degrees early in the morning dew uh, may have even got a little bit of rain last night here's a little view of the side of three saws just want to get a little shot of the view here hope this footage turns out okay today it's gonna be cloudy all day so we made it to the top of these three saws and nose trail which we're going to be taking and it looks as if they must be doing some trail maintenance on boundary line okay I hope I am not talking too loud because I have my music in I'm just making sure I'm going the right way. Last I took this with somebody I met here. Very cool dude. I do need to adjust my rear brake. I can't one finger them anymore. So that's a little something I didn't catch. But we're running the maxes. DHR2s and they are feeling great so kind of just flowing with it here and looking ahead uh, hoping this is the right trail Ooh, that'd have been cool to launch off of Ooh, ooh, a little hard landing there. Hey, gotta try stuff, right? Oh, I'm getting kicked around. Ooh, forearm pump. Really bad. Nice. Ooh, almost so nice over the bars. Kind of nice. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Yeah, it's another one we got to hit. Let's turn around. I want to get used to this stuff, right? Can't keep passing it up. Ooh, hit the pebbles there. That was not what we wanted to do. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, dude. All right. I think this is a little bit of three saws action. I'm gonna let just a little bit of air out of these tires and it's gonna be sweet. I'm gonna give this a try. It just feels like they're hair tight. <laughs> well, I got it on it. A little cheesy, but I got it. <laughs> yeah, I gotta definitely adjust these. <laughs> definitely gotta look ahead a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, this made a difference. I just let some air out of my tires. And I can I can tell the way I'm locking up. It's much better. Oh my gosh, much better now. Oh man, what a difference. What a difference, man. Wow. Huh. A little bumpy through there. I think the front could have just a little more air out of it. We took a little bit more out of the front and try this out. Hopefully it ain't too much. Oh dude. Oh man. Wow. That feels so good. Only thing without the, with the full face is uh, my visor can kind of get in the way. Definitely got to adjust that before I come back and take this run again. <laughs> Arms are a little teak a little bit. Yeah, I got a two hand the back brakes right now. And I don't think I have any tools on any Allen wrenches that small. So, one thing mess with me is if the screw back down or not, I have them set perfect and I'm having to pull them in pretty far and I'm pinching my fingers so I can't get the stopping power I want because my finger gets in the way with doing the one finger. I have to get my one finger out of the way and two finger them, which I do not like. So, always something to keep in tune and fix. So yeah, what a difference with the tire pressure. And we messed up uh, big time at the top of nose trail. I uh, definitely couldn't see the trail. Just doing a little bit of free riding. Uh, kind of flipped me out. And uh, for the whole downhill and everything, I didn't hit with uh, Blaine up here. 
and I didn't see it anywhere. <laughs> Definitely got off trail. <laughs> All right, guys, not to bore everybody with this. I will see you at the top. Second run. And now we got some better brakes. So I wondered if I was supposed to go that way. I don't think so. Anyhow, nice burn. Well, tops, that's on the socks. I'm actually just trying to make sure I stay on line and don't end up into a, a free ride this time. This 120 millimeter shock, coming to find out, has got to go front and back actually uh, for getting more aggressive. It's a good trail bike setup, but uh, I think we will be upgrading. That kind of ruined that section a little bit because I'm trying. Ooh. I think I'm slightly getting better at these rock gardens, but man, treacherous. That was a little rough again, but I did it. I sent it. That'll hopefully get smoother in time, right? There's a rock I landed on there. I think I keep missing something here. Yeah, about the shocks. I've done my research and kind of limped in what I set up this bike for to what my goal is for riding, which is to, we missed it again. Woo! Heard that one. Heard that one. I just looked up and a big rock was there. Decided to bunny hop it. I didn't nip it. I think we're into three saws now. It's where it gets fun. I mentioned how much better these tires are. Yeah, I'm gonna have to have Blaine show me how to get to that hill. Cause I'm totally making the wrong turn or something. <laughs> All right. At goals, baby. I set the goal there. A little disappointed. I didn't uh, whew, get to the hill today. So that was another one of my goals.
That's nice. Kind of learning to let the bike do the work. Woo! Exhausty. Case that one. Saw it last minute. I gotta remember the little mental spots where these things are. Yeah. Oh, right down on that rock. I didn't see him the last minute. I think it was the same for him. And that is it. Wow, amazing riding up here. It really is. Amazing riding. End it with some wet feet. Hey everybody. Thanks for watching Digging Deep. Till next time.